Hi guys, today we have an um, Acer Aspire 3. Today um, we'll be looking at the simple procedure on how we can install Windows 10 or Windows 11 in it. This is a brand new Acer laptop. You can see this is Acer Aspire 3 with um, um, the NumLock keypad. Um, these are all the main functions key that we'll be using for the inf installation. And this is a standard English keyboard, QWERTY keyboard. So right now we'll be looking on the procedure on how we can. So we'll be looking on the procedure on how we can install Windows 10 on it or Windows 11. First of all, we are going to be needing a USB flash of any sort, either 16 GB or 8 GB. After you must have run your Windows in it or you have made your USB bootable with them, the Windows 10 or Windows 11 you want to use. So the next procedure is for you to take your USB port to to insert in any usb slot on your laptop and you have to turn on your laptop with the start button after you turn on your laptop with your start button you you have to keep on constantly pressing your f12 on your keyboard to go to the boot menu because every laptop has some different forms of boot menu right now you can see we have access to a boot menu you can have the UEFI shell and you can see the next one is your USB so we are going to select a USB in case you have numerous boot menu device you have to select with your USB because you want to boot from the USB flash flash drive so you have to select enter to choose it so you allow your laptop to boot from your USB flash drive So right now you can see a laptop um, start started booting from a USB and it's taking us to the next stage. You just have to be a little patient. So right now you can see we have, if you look critical, right now they give us option to choose for a language. Because you see we have English and you have to use your mouse to select you choose next and you will see install now you choose install now and you see your, your laptop is set up the starting windows so you have to be a little bit of you have to have a little bit of patience so here we need to go to I don't have if you see there are some option privacy you come down you see privacy statement you will see i don't have product key because you don't have product key for now so you definitely choose with that one you select it and you choose a version of windows you want in case you want windows 11 home education professional but i love to use the professional because which is the best and i also recommend you also use the windows professional even if it's windows 10 also use the professional version you choose Windows 11 Professional and definitely you have to accept you have to accept for the terms and policy you just select you tick the box and you tick next you have to custom you have to choose by the second option which is custom install Windows only advanced the second one so here we have our partition we can easily here this is called a partition and here you can delete everything recreate any and the size of partition you will love it depends on the size there are people who love to keep it on one partition there are others who love to keep it on several partition it depends on you so right now you have to delete you have to select one partition and you go to delete it will ask you for the option of delete you say yes okay to delete you select another also you have to do the same procedure for all of them until you have a one until you have one partition like this so definitely this one is just 256 ssd there is no need me creating any partition because of the size is very small so i would definitely install my windows on it but maybe you might have one tb one terabyte or two terabyte or five twelve or more maybe you would love to create a new partition for it then you will definitely do it but right now i'm just going to install windows directly on it so i will definitely just take go to choose next for it and my windows to start installing so that is my size you can see is indicating 
installation installing windows and windows copying files that is a prestige so you definitely wait for this the next step which is showing getting files ready for installation so you will definitely wait for that expansion until your laptop reboot you will definitely wait for it until your laptop reboot So after I expand up to 100%, you allow your laptop or your whether it's PC or whatever to reboot. So after rebooting, you can do force reboot or you allow it to reboot manually. As you watch this video, don't forget to share, don't forget to like. And don't forget to give your own opinion so your laptop will reboot then it will start starting service this is our next stage now we are getting ready our laptop is getting ready After getting ready, your laptop will reboot. Now we are almost at the last stage of it. Just a moment. Means you have to have a little bit of patience because very soon we are going to have access to our Windows. That is our Windows 11 logo. Definitely, you have to. You, they will give you option to select from any of any Wi-Fi and now you don't have I don't have any internet I don't have internet so you select I don't have internet and you can select next is you select connect continue with limited setup because you don't have internet to access it getting things ready for you Why don't you have to put in the for the They are giving me the option of PC because the rest we are going to have access to our full windows. Almost there, we have our windows. Wow. Uh, here, this is a complete Windows now. You can do whatever you want to do. You can update your Windows, install your drivers online manually, whatsoever. So, thanks for watching and don't forget to share, don't forget to like. Uh, in a sub next Windows MM videos, I will show you on how you can install, you can update your Windows drivers through internet or maybe if you have your drivers downloaded. So, for this one, thanks for watching. In our next video, you see how you can update your drivers using internet